We are now going to find the equations of horizontal and vertical lines. So suppose that we're first told to find the equation of a horizontal line that passes through the point minus 1, 4. Well, we know it's a horizontal line, and a horizontal line is parallel to the x-axis, which means it has a slope of 0. So we also could have said find the equation of, of a line that has a slope of 0 and passes through the point minus 1, 4. So that would be an alternate, alternative way of saying this. But in this case, what we care about is that the y never changes. That's what makes it horizontal. So if we look at our point, we look at that y value, we can say that this line has to be at y equals 4. And it can't change from that. Notice there's no x. In slope-intercept form, we'd write this as y equals 0 times x plus 4, which is just 4. And so this is the form we want to write our horizontal lines in. Horizontal lines always have y equals. Well, what if we change the problem just a little bit? Instead of saying find the equation of a horizontal line, what if we said find the equation of a line with an undefined slope that passes through the point minus 1, 4. So now we're looking at something with an undefined slope. And the only type of equation that has an undefined slope is a vertical line. So it's got to be a vertical line now. Perfectly vertical, even though it's hard to draw it. We can get away with what we've got. And so as we're looking at this, we recognize that all undefined slopes are x equals, because the x value is always the same along this line. And so all we need to do is grab that x value and shove it in, and we get the equation x equals minus 1. So no matter what the y is, x is always minus 1, and so that's our equation. So look at the wording carefully, figure out if it's horizontal or vertical. If it's horizontal, always go with the y equals the y value, and if it's vertical, always go with x equals the x value of the point that you were given.